Now that we have our layout ready to go, and it looks marvelous, we need to set up some hotkeys, which will in the end help us a lot with direct modeling in Houdini. Again, nothing too drastic, just a few shortcuts and or hotkeys and we can move forward. So to change our hotkeys, let's go under the edit, hotkeys, and, and then under the search, let's type the, for the first hotkey, which is point. In my case, because I'm used to it, to one, two, three, and four to be point edge primitive object modes. From Cinema 4D, I'm using these shortcuts for years. I will just set them to be the same. In this case, you don't have to change these, but I will, because they work the best for me. So select points, I will just remove both, press one. Then on the edge, remove these. That is to be number two. Go to primitive. Then select primitives. Let's remove this and set it to number three. An object will be no, 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 no. Object here, object select mode. I will set it to be number four. Awesome. The next hotkeys that I will change are the con convert hotkeys because now I change the default component hotkeys. I just need to adjust my conversion hotkeys so convert if you didn't change your one two three four you don't have to do this i need i i have to so this one will be control shift one sorry control shift two because it's we are converting to edges and convert to points will be control shift one convert to primitives will be control shift three convert to vertex can stay as it is i don't use this at all click apply and let's move on the next hotkey is for me very important for you it should be two and this is what i guess this would be the only hotkey that i would really strongly advise you to, to adapt to and to change to because in our case when we are doing modeling uh, we are basically accepting a lot of operations invokes call it whatever you like and for that we need to press enter and unfortunately enter as it is it's just too far from our left hand so if we are keen to use enter as it is we often would need to move our hand from left to right which can be really pain in the butt i don't want to do that i'm not doing that so what i did i changed enter to be the key from the keyboard which is under the escape and in houdini is used for restart selection because of that we will also have to assign other hotkey for the restart selection but nothing drastic and actually it will make a lot of sense so i promise you guys these two hotkeys are worth of, of change i promise you that so every enter here just add this I, I i really don't know what's the name of this key on your keyboard but it's on the left top under the escape and usually it's used for by default it's used for restart selection so i'm sure you can find it easily so just add on every enter here if you get this message just remove other nothing will actually change for you at least i didn't notice great now restart just because we changed the restart selecting to be basically the enter now let's set this restart selecting to be control and then the same key from the keyboard that, that we're using for enter 
And trust me, this works so good. So good for our modeling. Let's hit apply. Next hotkey. Okay, it's not the last one, but almost the last one. Clear. All templates. This one you set to control shift F. You will use it for whenever you have like a template, that template on your node with this shortcut, you can remove it. I will show this while I'm modeling, but trust me on this. Uh, it doesn't hurt to, to set this uh, icon. It will, uh, not icon, sorry, this hotkey here because we are not removing any other uh, hotkeys from from the functionality so just set it there and i promise you it will be useful at some point and now the the golden tip of the day i would say of the century in in my opinion unfortunately for for this you would need to have a mouse it can be the cheapest one the point is that let me open my logitech options and show you I have this beautiful MX Master P mouse and even better keyboard. But in my case, the Houdini, these three buttons, actually these two buttons and then this horizontal horizontal scroll on the mouse are so useful for modeling that yeah. It blew my mind when actually I figured that I can use this. Uh, with modeling and I will just show you how I'm using this now for these two buttons I'm using already default hotkeys that Houdini predefined which are page up and page down so in my case this one is page up and then this one is page down which basically gives us the ability to go over the notes from the viewport and just quickly to show you how this actually works. Let's accept. Let's just add a cube. Now, here is the first place where I need to press enter or right mouse button to finish this operation. But why would I press right mouse button every time when I'm adding the, the geometry in my viewport? Doesn't make sense. So it, what is much faster is to press this new enter and voila, you have your box in your viewport. And now if I press number three, we are directly, we are, we are jumping into, uh, into this geometry node automatically. And now I'm again, because I press number three, I'm now in my primitive mode and now I can start selecting and then let's, let's extrude. Let's select something else, Q to extrude. Maybe select these two, again, Q to extrude. Oops. And then maybe now just go to bevel and add some bevels and that's it. Now, here, here is where these hotkeys really play the role. If you watch over the node network, let me just maximize it so you can see clearly what's happening. If you watch it here, watch for this highlight uh, of the node. So my mouse is over the viewport and now I'm pressing page up. Look what happens. Even in the viewport, you see that something is happening. So page up, page down, page up, page down. So now what I'm doing, I'm going over the stream node or node stream with my mouse, with my mouse buttons. You can do the same from your keyboard if you're pressing page up and page down. But if you're having these two buttons on your mouse, please use them. Because now you can also see here that when I change the nodes, that also my tools are changing and I can interactively change the steps or extrusions in this case that I did go up change this extrusion go up change this one all from my viewport so I don't have to reach here to select anything 
which is trust me awesome that makes that changes everything in how you actually doing modeling because this is also working if you're hovering over the parameter settings so if you're doing something here and you just need to go i don't know to check the node above you would just press this button on your mouse and you're there you don't have to go here select then go back and then so on and so on no you do everything with your mouse that's awesome and for this horizontal scroll what i have is i basically set these two keys from your keyboard and in this case i still need to go in my under my hotkeys manager and then just type home and you will see here that move to first operation is your home on your keyboard and set this to be a dot okay and then end move to last operation set it to be this shortcut or this key on your keyboard press apply that's it by the way i just i just noticed that yeah this is our new enter by the way if if you are still don't know what what key i'm using from the keyboard it's this one so uh, under the escape sorry I, I just missed this totally i don't know why so let's press accept and now again let's maximize now check what's happening in our node network my poly bevel one is highlighted but now if i am in the viewport you can see the mouse cursor if I'm using my home, we are jumping to our first node. And if I'm using end, we are jumping to the last node. So home, end, home, end. And um, yeah, guys, that, that would be it. Hopefully, this video was really useful, especially at the end, because... I can promise you that if you are able to change all of these hotkeys to be as as i told you you will have totally different experience with modeling in houdini it's nothing drastic as you could see you don't have to even change the the first six hotkeys basically the component modes if you are used to what is by default set in houdini enter please yes make your life much easier also the restart selection it will also help you out it makes more sense to be as control and then this i don't know which key is is this but uh, at this point you should know <laughs> sorry about that and that's it next video will be about radial menu and how to set up your tools on your radial menu and basically after that we are ready to do our first project will which will be in my opinion awesome at least it will be very fun for me so guys see you in the next video and please don't forget to stay safe